Hello students, today uh, we are going to learn a new chapter of standard 11 and the name of that chapter is study of animal types, cockroach. So first we will see habit and habitat. Habit means what? Animals where they live and habitat means what? What they eat. So first we should know that what do you mean by omnipresent? So cockroach is an animal which is present everywhere on this earth. So cockroach is present everywhere on this earth. So what do you mean by omnipresent? They are present everywhere. So they are present everywhere. Everywhere they are present. So they are called as omnipresent. Next point is that they are nocturnal animals. Nocturnal animal means what? Nocturnal animal means what? Asajiyo, insects, ashe animals, jay, tencha anna sati, ratri bahernikta, tenna maisa nocturnal animals, or the creature or the animals which come in search of food at night time. So, such type of animal are called as nocturnal animals or they are active during night times. They are active during night times. So, nocturnal means what? So, they are active. They are active during night time. Night time. Why active way, sir? Reactive food material So nocturnal means what? Such animals are active during night time. This you have to keep in mind. Third point is what? They are cursorial animals. Cursorial means what? We know that there are number of animals which are present on this earth. And modification have taken place according to the evolutionary point of view. So cursorial adaptation means what? Their legs are modified for running. So their legs are modified for running. This you have to keep it in mind. So their legs are modified for running. So we have seen that cockroach can run. Understood. Next is what? Species of cockroach which are found in India. Especially there are three species of cockroach which are found in India. Number one is Periplaneta americana. Number two is Blata orientalis. Number three is Blata germanica. From this name, you can identify their origin. So, americana origin is from America. Orientalis, their origin is from Africa or South Russia. And germanica from Germany. So these are the main three species of cockroach which is found in India. The question may come and list the three species of cockroach which is found in India. So that, that, that time you have to write these three names of the species. So the next point is what? Systematic classification. Classification of what? The classification of cockroach. So if we classify Cockroach. So first point is what? Kingdom. Kingdom. Animalia. So cockroach belongs to which phylum? Animalia. So animalia. So the main characteristics of animal is what? They can move from move from one place to another. They can move from one place to another. So cockroach can move from one place to another. So this is the main characteristics feature of kingdom animalia. Next is phylum arthropoda. In which phylum cockroach belongs to? They belongs to phylum arthropoda. Arthos means what? What do you mean by arthropoda? Or if we by forget this word. So what in by arthos? Arthos means what? Legs. And podas means what? Sorry. What in by 
अर्थोस और अर्थोस मीन्स वॉट जॉइंटेड जॉइंटेड एंड पोडस मीन्स वॉट लेग्स दैट मीन्स जॉइंटेड लेग्स आर प्रेजेंट जॉइंटेड लेग्स आर प्रेजेंट सो ऑल द इंसेक्ट्स और ऑल द एनिमल्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द फाइल ऑर्थ्रोपोडा they will have jointed appendages so appendages or legs will be jointed third one is class in which class uh, cockroach is present it is present in class insecta and insecta the characteristics of insect is what we know that each and every insect have two pairs of legs two pairs of sorry two pairs of wings and three pairs of legs so insects all the insects which have a class insecta will have two pairs of wings and three pairs of legs this is the complete my next one is what genus and which genus uh, this cockroach uh, is present in paraplenta you have seen that this are uh, this is the genus this paraplenta blata here we have written so this is genus is paraplenta and species which we have taken for systematic position is americana so this is the address this is the address of cockroach after that we are going to see external morphology of cockroach so if you see the cockroach you must have seen the cockroach so how is the shape of the cockroach so if you see the cockroach it is bilateral symmetrical so if i draw the structure of cockroach you will come to know that if this is a cockroach so we can divide the body of cockroach into two equal parts so it is called as bilateral symmetry the symmetry of cockroach is bilateral symmetry the body is dorso ventrally flattened how is the body of cockroach it is it is dorso ventrally flattened dorso ventrally flattened means what cockroach the upper the upper surface of cockroach is called as dorsal side the below surface of cockroach is called as ventral side and the lateral side of the cockroach is called as lateral side this you have to keep in mind so i am standing in front of you which is my this back is present this is called as a dorsal side this front side is called as ventral side my hands are at the lateral sides my head is at the anterior sides my legs are at the Posterior sides, so these are these sides you have to keep in mind. So they are dorsal ventrally flattened. So body is from dorsal side and from ventral sides it is flattened. This you have to keep in mind. Third one is the color of cockroach. The body color of cockroach is how they are glistening brown in color. So how is the color of cockroach? It is glistening brown in color. Next point is what exoskeleton. Exoskeleton means what? There are two types of skeleton: exoskeleton and endoskeleton. So, exo means outer, outer skeleton, and endoskeleton means what? Which is present inside the body. For example, in human beings, bones are present. They are called as endoskeleton of our body. So, from here we are only going to see what is by exoskeleton. If you see the body of cockroach, you will know that. the exoskeleton which is present it is non living exoskeleton it is non living exoskeleton and the body of cockroach is waxy if you pour water on the body of cockroach the water does not penetrate inside its body so you have to keep in mind it is only due to the hard and waxy covering of its body next one is what this exoskeleton is formed by nitrogenous polysaccharide so the exoskeleton which is present on the body of cockroach is is made up of nitrogenous polysaccharide that is called as chitin 
that provide strength it provides strength then it provides elasticity and this strength and elasticity for surface attachment of the muscles so we know that cockroach can run on the wall also so this exoskeleton plays very important role and this exoskeleton is non living exoskeleton which is waxy hard and it is formed by nitrogenous polysaccharide called as chitin that provides strength and elasticity for attachment of muscles